Hi, welcome to Fusion Beats. Today I'm going to show you how to finish off a piece of flat peyote with one of our slide bar clasps. So these clasps are our slide bar clasps and the collection that as you can see here is our base metal collection. So these are all base metal and they've been plated in silver, natural brass, antique copper, and gold. And we also carry these in sterling silver as well. And this clasp just slides apart and you can see the two pieces here and then you slide it back together. And they have a nice piece of wire that's been soldered onto the side, which makes a great way to finish off a piece of flat peyote beadwork. These, this piece that I've woven here is uh, woven with size 11 cylinder beads. And you can see that that fits right through there and I'm going to teach you how to just zip this up to create like a nice seamless finish. So we like these clasps a lot because they don't take up a lot of room when you are done uh, with your bracelet so you can have more room to design uh, in your peyote work. You could also use these clasps with some other bead weaving techniques. You just want to make sure that you pick the right width and that your beads will slide through the space here in on the bar. So I'm going to use this antique brass one to finish off my bracelet here. And I've woven this piece so that it is the perfect width to work with this bar. And with your finishing thread coming out, uh, you just want to pull your beadwork through that bar. And we're going to fold it over. And I like to go about 10 beads back. So starting or 10 rows back. So starting from this uh, bronze bead here on the end, we're gonna go count five rows down the side, which will equal 10 rows in uh, peyote stitch to this cream bead here. So that's where I'm going to fold it over to, and you can see that that creates a nice space for uh, me to zipper it all up. My thread is uh, coming out of this bottom bronze bead down here, and so I'm going to fold, and then I'm just going to start working my way across, kind of zipper-like, uh, down the length of the bracelet, and then I'll come back and reinforce. So wherever your thread is coming out, find the bead that would be the great next one to go through. And in this case, I'm going to go into that second bead over, which is two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows back. Perfect. So I'm just going to go through. And you're just going to pull tight as you're working and you can see that your beadwork almost starts to just meld back and forth. So now I'm going to come through that next kind of up bead from my end row. So I've got those first three beads kind of connected now. And now I will go through my next bead about 10 rows back. It's going to be bronze again. And I'm going to go through my cream bead here as my next bead. And I'm just going to keep on going down. The rest of these beads all look like they're going to be bronze. So I'm going to go through the bronze in 
my pen throw. You may need to wiggle your yarn around a little bit or your needle around a little bit to get it through that bead. And again, through the one on my edge row here. And back through the bronze bead in my 10th row. My thread got caught there. Sorry about that. Get this all sorted out here. Sorry, my thread got caught and then looped that through. Okay. Back on track. Okay. And then I'm just going to go through this last one on the edge of, on the end of my edge row. And now you should be secure on there. You can see that it almost just forms like a little peyote tube bead there around that bar. And then I'm just gonna go down the cream bead here on the other side and just weave my way back down the row again, just kind of securing all of that one more time. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And it gets pretty tight in here, so just be patient. Uh, don't break any of your beads as you're doing this. Just making your way back down, kind of securing that. If you need to, you can weave back to the front, I'll call this side the front side if you need to, to get that uh, piece through there. Let's see, I'm going to do that there, that guy, because it's a little bit tight getting it through. through next guy and kind of go back over to the other side okay and we're coming back out our end row here I'm just gonna do one last Turn to really secure that guy there. So that is one side done. You can see it's wrapped there. And then I'm just going to weave this tail thread back down through my work to finish that off. And I'll repeat all of those steps for the second side of my bracelet. Now one tip here is to go ahead and get it all set up but you can uh, slide this apart and just work with the one side of the clasp over here. Just make sure that you don't get anything twisted around and that your bracelet's still going to close and it's not going to be twisted or anything like that. All right, that is how you use our slide bar clasp.
You can find the sidebar clasps and all the tools and supplies you need to make bracelets like this at fusionbeads.com.